Are you struggling with your character sheet? Information overload got you down. Introducing the ugly goblin. Now with added humor. Learning has never been easier. In this episode, ability scores. What's the difference between intelligence and wisdom? Is charisma more than just being a silver-tongued devil? All of these answers and more will be revealed to you today. Coming up first is strength. If you wish to push, pull, and lift heavy objects, this is the stat for you. Performing great athletic feats such as jumping, swimming, and climbing, as well as wielding melee weapons like a champ. Strength has got you covered. Next we have dexterity, the measure of one's agility, balance, and reflexes. Do you wish to be a parkour king? A stealthy rogue who can pickpocket and lockpick in a jiffy. Dexterity has your back. Rounding the corner, we have the ever-neglected dumpstad of an ability score, Constitution! Give Constitution a round of applause, everybody! Constitution represents your health and general toughness. Endure intense temperatures and harsh environments. Get better at holding your liquor and fighting off pesky poisons. Constitution is used for focusing on spells and determining your total amount of hit points. If you don't want to be down today, I suggest you grab Constitution. Now, moving on to the mental stats, intelligence is up first. Intelligence allows you to recall information quickly. It represents one's book smarts, level of education, and enables you to think logically. Decipher clues and recount the lore of the universe. Intelligence is just begging to be chosen. A wash of wisdom is now underway, showing that you do not need to be smart to think smart. Wisdom determines your common sense, your attunement with the world around you. General perception. Ever wish to have that gut feeling that never lets you down? Wisdom is where it's at. Finally, we have that charming flirt of a stat strutting into the room. It's charisma, everybody! Not only is charisma used for smooth-talking authorities and flirting with dragons, but charisma is the strength of your personality. You don't need to be a silver-tongued devil to have high charisma. Get out of here! You can simply be influential! Makes the crowd cream their pants. Walk into a room and your very presence makes the crowd shake. Confidence, eloquence, and a commanding personality are all included in this wonderful package we call Charisma! Now, what are all these blank spaces on my ability scores? What numbers do I put where? Where do I even get these numbers? Well, luckily for you, we'll explain all of that in our next episode of The Ugly Goblin Breakdowns. Thank you for watching, and we'll see you again. Make sure to like, subscribe, and give me a comment below if you like this silly voice. Goodbye. Here I go. Back into the ether.